Indian folk dancers are fun to perform and watch. A recent dance festival showcased this time-honoured tradition and Mishal found out more about its Bollywood connection. Shalavli dressed villagers joining the hero couple in spontaneous desi dancing has become a big screen staple. But the story began long before the birth of cinema. Folk dancing took centre stage at the Nritya Angan festival in Durban recently and Mishal was there to get the background story. If anything has put Indian dance on the map, it's Bollywood. What would a Mumbai movie be without those spectacular song and dance sequences? Now it's worth remembering that to a large extent, cinema dance styles have their origins in Indian folk dances. And that too should be showcased. Originally from the state of Gujarat, the Dandiya Ras represents a mock fight between Durga and the demon king Mahishasura. While some of the performers completed a final rehearsal, others were preparing to go on stage. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Moments before the show, how are you feeling? Slightly nervous, but very excited for today's performance. We've prepared very hard and we hope it'll go well today. Well, are you able to give me a little bit of an idea of what we can expect? Our slot is a Bollywood uh, for today. We're doing some classical, some folk, fusing with Bollywood and definitely a hard-hitting Bollywood number to finish the show. I am so keen to learn. Are you able to show me how it's moved from classical to Bollywood? I'll show you how it's moved from folk to Bollywood. Okay. So, if we do a Bhangra move, very simple, we're gonna go one, Two, up. Now, to put a Bollywood twist on that, yeah. try it with sunglasses. Oh, we are going full on Bollywood. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what do you think? Very good. Ah, very good. I got it very good. Can I go on stage with you? Uh, maybe the next best. Oh, I tried. While dance lovers showed off their saris, Michel chatted to Smita Maraj. Smita, what are the origins of the popular folk dances that are being performed here tonight? In the villages of India. It's just the villages getting together and doing basically informal dancing together in celebration of an event. Is there a revival of interest in folk dancing? We find a lot of uh, ladies especially wanting to learn dance but not, nothing too formal as classical. And they just want to learn basic things. It's also to keep fit as well as enjoy what they're doing. Now, would you say that's thanks to Bollywood? If you follow Bollywood, you would see a lot of the traditional folk dancers are now being showcased in the latest movies. So I think they're inspired by that as well. Well, I'm so looking forward to see the performances. What can we expect? It's going to be amazing. In terms of sheer variety, folk dancers far outstrip their classical counterparts, with steps, costumes and accessories differing from region to region. In most cases, the dance is linked to mythology or a local folk story. And while the basic steps are simple, elements are added to show off the skill of the performers. All this combines to create an entertaining experience and one with which the audience could identify. It's definitely relevant. It ties us to our past. It, it brings a lot of what we have in the present together with the past. It's exciting that you could bring something so, you know, dynamic and something fresh to something so traditional. Interest is growing daily with the younger generation wanting to seek their roots and therefore it's becoming very, very relevant. Folk dances are often seen as the poor relations of classical styles. 
But to me, the true value is in its accessibility. It's a form of expression for the people, by the people, and everyone can share in the joy.